Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And we have sunshine. It's 60 degrees outside today. And Wellington, he needs some love. I know, sweetie. Yeah, so I got Dollar Tree haul, nothing crazy. Um, and, but I got some other things I did wanna share with you that were not Dollar Tree related. So I've been buying Easter basket stuff and my niece, her boyfriend, my brother and his wife, sister-in-law, are all going to Ireland in July-ish. And so for my niece and her boyfriend, I'm making Easter baskets and I'm getting some items. So these were not from the Dollar Tree. I got this Tide to Go stick at Target, I think, probably. These are fantastic, especially if you're a coffee drinker. But I like these. The shout wipes are good, but I like the sticks. So I grabbed her a Tide to Go. And then I got these at Marshall's. These were $5.99, but they're all different size zip bags. I always put my liquids in a zip bag. And then they have these little tiny ones. And I think you get 25. They're calling them pill bags. But really, you can, yes, you can put your medication, which is what I'm going to do, daily medication, earrings. You can also use these for like adapters for any of your electronics, like those little pieces you don't want to lose. Anything tiny that you're traveling with that you don't want to lose track of, these are great. And then obviously different sizes for liquids. So I grabbed that and it has peaches and strawberries. I thought that was fun. I also got myself a pack because I needed them too. Um, and then for Michael, as Easter basket, I got him this, it's a travel on and it's a case for his electronics. So earbuds, chargers, charging brick, anything electronic related can stay right in here and he won't lose it. It's just handy to have. I have one. I think Sarah has one. Um, she said he did not. I love the little front zip pocket because obviously he can also just shove his passport down in there. I mean, it says it's for electronics, but it doesn't have to be but you do have all of these different compartments for your charging cables and stuff that we all have an excess amount of. Hi. Okay, so what I get at the Dollar Tree? Some of this stuff is for them and some is for me and some is just because. Uh, paper clips, I can't seem to find any. I know I buy these on the regular and I don't know what I do with them, but I'm trying to do my taxes not do my taxes. I have a tax person that does my taxes, but I'm trying to get ready to go see her on Wednesday and I need paper clips and I don't have any. And then, um, so at my, at my work, we've gone through a huge transition of job duties. Like everybody's kind of switching things up. And so I just want to do a little something to thank my teams for stepping up and really knocking it out of the park for us. So I grabbed three packs of post-its. I love these spring colors, so I'm gonna break them up. And for six of them, they're gonna get these. I don't think the guys care about post-its. Um, but for the people that I think will enjoy this, this is just a notebook, you know, plain. There's not even any lines, just a notebook, and it says stuff on the front. And this is a Jot brand. I grabbed six of these and then I got some G2 gel pens for them at Staples. And it's just gonna be a little notebook pen and whatever else I come up with for, the, for that portion of the team. And then for some other, oh, I also picked up thank you notes, which now they only come in six packs. I swear they used to be 12, then eight, now six. But I got this, it just says, just a little thank you. And then I got thanks. And I'll write a little note to everybody. And then for some of the other folks, I grabbed some of these spiral bound in different colors. But these are nice and I got some fun pens to go with these. So whoever I think will like what is what they will get. Obviously they can switch them around if they want to. But these sticker thingies, these better come off. You know how I am with stickers. Okay, good. It comes off because I'm going to not want that on the front. Yeah, so I'm going to do this with a fun pen and one of these two post-its for some of the folk as well. I know my team and I know what they will appreciate and what they don't care about.
office supply wise. So there's that. Um, I think that's everything for work. And then I found this spring garland for my, maybe for my um, arch at work or really just for here. This was only a dollar twenty-five, guys, and it's felt and pom poms. I could put it outside too, on my front porch. So I grabbed this garland. Also, if you don't want a garland, you can totally, yeah, you can just trim this and take it apart and use these for whatever you want. They're just tulips, and I love a tulip. So I grabbed that, right, Alex? And then I picked up this bag. It just says, choose kindness, um, mostly because I have to take something to the office tomorrow for one of my teams. I am recycling some towels. Her daughter does um, groom's dogs. And I have some old towels for her. I have not seen this before. And maybe I just have missed it because it was in the not in the seasonal items but with like your pillowcases and stuff and I typically don't shop in that area but it's a pillow wrap and we're gonna look at this and it says hello fall which what so I gather and I know it's not new because well a it's not fall so there's that um but also but I, I also don't think I've ever seen it Okay, so my pillows are big. I will throw that out there. It's too big for this, but I'm gonna show you how it works. It just needs a smaller pillow. I have 18 inch. I would say this would go, oh, sorry, go on a 16 inch pillow. How fun is that? You can just decorate your normal house pillow. And why aren't we making these? They're just Velcro. They're just Velcro straps. Why aren't we making these? Simple as that can be. Anyway, I thought it was fun and it is very much sizable as far as probably the limit is a 16 inch, but you can make it bigger or smaller. I thought that was super fun. We got that. And it was random. I saw it. So I'm assuming it's just gone. Um, I, I don't know why I need this, but I do. Encanto, little tiny lunchbox. Like, what the heck? I may even take this on retreats and put all my stitchy notions in here. And then it's small enough. And everything is magnetic that I bring pretty much. So it can just hold all the stuff. I don't know. I thought it was cute. It is trademarked Disney. Super cute. Should this be my thumbnail? No, maybe. Who knows? Okay. Then, then... Um, I just replaced these. These are just pill holders. I have a new one upstairs, but I like to sort my medicine, A, in pill holders, and B, for the month. So I have four of these, and that means I only have to sort them once a month. My maintenance medication. Obviously, if I take something because I'm sick or something, then I wouldn't use one of these. But I like that they're color-coded. I wish they had one more, but they don't. They only have these three colors. I know I can buy them other places, but for $1.25, I replace these twice a year. Um, just because they get gross inside, really. But So I grabbed those. It's time, mainly because I got water in my other one and it has meds stuck at the bottom. Ugh. So I got that for me. And then, what the heck is this? It's borax. I mean, I know what it is, but have you seen this in the single serve? I have had cleaning stuff that I've seen recipes for, or I mean, e I can't remember what it was, but I know I saved it on Pinterest and I'm like, I just need a couple of tablespoons of borax. I don't need the big giant box. Oh, I don't have to buy the big giant box now. That could be a good thumbnail uh, because it comes in a 
one serving, four ounce box, a single serving, if you will. We'll try it. It says it's good for like extra dirty stuff. It's a booster, but it's also good for like toilets, helps remove stains, neutralize odor. I may just dump a box in my toilet and see what it does. I have very hard water, and so my toilets are just a pain to clean. Anywho, I grabbed this sponge, and not for any other purpose than pottery. So the one sponge I have is kind of falling apart, and I asked my um, pottery instructor, you know, why? And is there a better one that I could buy? And he was like, just get one at the Dollar Tree. So I can totally cut this in half and then just use it. Cause you use a sponge a lot when you're doing pottery to smooth things out. We'll see how it works out. But I need to cut it down into half or even quarters because my other one is um, falling apart basically. So pottery, nothing exciting there. Oh, but something exciting here. Hello, Halo Top. So this is strawberry cake mix. It's a light cake mix. Third fewer calories than the average of the five leaving prepared cake mixes. And it's a little individual serving. And I got this just to hand to Sarah because she likes cake. And I also got her oatmeal. But I thought this is a fun little single serving situation. You, and when's a good buy? April, so we better be using this one up. I mean, it's just Best Buy. All you need is three tablespoons of water. You stir it and you microwave it on high for 60 seconds and you get a little cupcake. There's no frosting though. I'm assuming, let's look. I'm just popping the lid off. And it's like a little ice cream cup, which is really cool too. Um, If you're not aware, Halo Top started off as ice cream. Yeah, there's no frosting in here, just just a little cake mix. So I, and I got this the last time I was at Dollar Tree. I just haven't seen Sarah. So I got her that. I'm just going through the kitchen stuff. I grabbed one of these mixer thingies, honestly, to mix my iced coffee in with the instant coffee. So I got um, Cafe Bustello, which is espresso instant coffee. And I liked this, that it had my measurements on the side. So it's one tablespoon, of, and I will make a video, one tablespoon of the instant coffee, I think. We'll see what, what I like concentration-wise. A half a cup of water. You put it in here and you shake it, and then there's a measurement. I can go up to the cup and a half, and that'll give me one cup of milk. Shake it, shake it, and then pour it over ice. So I thought that is super fun. And it seems, well, let's just hope it keeps the liquids in here and not splashing. I'll try it with water first. Um, I just grabbed some more of the sipping broth from Delight Pho, 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 Delight Pho, sipping broth. I love this stuff. It's delicious. I can't help it. So I grabbed some more because I saw it. And then for Sarah's Easter basket, she likes um, honey mustard pretzels. And this is a store brand, Snack Factory. I saw them at Costco yesterday, so I know it's like a regular brand. But she loves honey mustard, so I grabbed those to go in her Easter basket. I'm just starting to collect things. Hence the Easter baskets. I always try to get them something that they could possibly reuse. And I thought, you know, this would be good storage, like in their bathrooms or whatever. They're getting ready to move. Um, or they can just toss it away. But I thought this was a little bigger. I will put tissue paper down, but like for Michael, I could do this. I'll get him some chips. Just, you know, fill it up with their Easter stuff and then wrap it with plastic. And I'm loving the new colors. This is a gray and this is pink. And then they had one other color, but all the spring stuff is coming out at my Dollar Tree. All the baskets and things. So I grabbed these two. And like I said, I'll line it with tissue paper because you'll see I got some smaller things for them. Um, so we're having a flight that goes from, we go here to Chicago, Chicago to Dublin, Ireland. And the flight leaves here at 7 p.m. and it leaves Chicago, Chicago time at 10 p.m. So it's an overnight flight. We won't get to Ireland and I think off the plane till 11 a.m. the next day. So um, for the stockings, and I got myself one, I grabbed us these little scope toothbrushes. They're just a 
sip of water, brush your teeth. It's not a lot of toothpaste on here. There's not even any water needed, but they're just a tiny bit of toothpaste and a little bristle brush just to freshen up your mouth on the airplane. Um, if you're not aware, you can't drink the water in the bathrooms on the airplane and you really don't want to be brushing your teeth near that water. So it's not potable as they call it. So I'm like, well, these are perfect for our carry-on bags. The flight on the way back, we won't be sleeping. I mean, maybe, but it's a day flight, but there's actually two toothbrushes in each, so one for each flight. I thought that was fantastic. And then I saw something that I've not seen before, this brand, Guru Nanda. I don't know where it's from. Um, California, it says, well, it says, distributed by Guru Nanda in California. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I got them each a toothbrush for travel. So I got a blue for him and a teal. I mean, they can switch. I don't really care. But I got them each um, a toothbrush for the trip because you need toothbrushes. And they also have something, and I picked up a bunch of these because I'm obsessed with them. These are, and I don't want to take it out because once you open it, it, it has a shelf life, but it's a toothbrush holder. But if you can see in the back there, that little white circle, it's got an antibacterial. So it says rinse toothbrush after use, remove excess water, rinse the bristle again prior to use, replace your brush pod every three months. It's a brush pod and it's got antibacterial qualities. Also, here's the thing, when you're traveling at a hotel, if you have any kind of housekeeper come in or you know whatever, but somebody comes in to tidy up your room and they're spraying chemicals around, it could land on your toothbrush. Also, potty and things. So I grabbed four of these, one for each of Sarah and Michael, and they only came in orange. But I was getting ready to buy one, and a two pack was six dollars on Amazon, I think. So dollar twenty five is just a little better deal. So I grabbed two for one for each of them for our trip. And then I grabbed myself a couple because I'm always going somewhere. So I have four for me. Cause sometimes I don't, I don't keep them after the trip. I have one more of these. Oh, I think that was for Sarah. Yeah, that's for Sarah. And then I'm not giving them a lot of candy in their Easter baskets. We're grown. They can buy their own candy, but I did get some of these clear like dragon mermaid eggs. I feel like they could be either. Um, just to put a little bit of candy, or actually I could probably put some euros in there or some cash, but we'll see. But anyway, I just grabbed a little four pack. I like these firm, clear eggs. They're just cute. I'm sure I'll get candy. And then the last couple things I picked up, this is for me for travel. It's just modest basics. They're feminine cleansing wipes, but honestly, here's the thing. Um, when I travel, like I have a trip coming up, going to Canada and you stop to go to the bathroom at a truck stop or a rest stop. Sometimes they don't have toilet paper and that really bugs me. So I just grab these and I keep them in my bag, like in my car or my carry on bag. It's probably not this size of my carry on, but when I'm traveling around, I may open this up and take out three or four wipes and put them in a little zip, one of my little zip bags and throw it in my purse just in case I find you know, last time I was in Europe, they came in very handy when I had to, you know, you go to the bathroom, you're, we're human, that's what we do. But these are for women, men can use them as well, but they're formulated for more sensitive regions of our body. How about that? I don't wanna go using a Lysol wipe for some TP if I need it. I also carry tissues with me because of my allergies and they work just as well, but I figured, Try these out. So I'm gonna try them before my trip. Um, I just grabbed some packing tape. When I see the Scott brand, I typically buy this over the Dollar Tree brand. It just works a little better. And, and you get the exact same amount, but I just feel like the Scott brand works a little better. I don't know. So I grabbed Scott brand. And then the last thing I got, I don't normally buy these little tea light doohickeys, but I really liked this one. And I thought I'm gonna put a little essential oil up here. And a tea, well guys, what you doing? The boys are loving this sunshine, they're in the window. And a little tea light just to warm it up. I used to use the Cool Mist, the mister that you would put essential oils in, 
but I read that that's not really great with cats uh, because it's, it's not the smell of the essential oils that can be dangerous to cats. It's the misting of the oil droplets and then they walk through the droplets and then they lick and clean. So I thought, well, here's an alternative. We'll try it out and see. And you just put a tea light, like I said, and warm it up. They're cheap enough. Um, put a little oil. You can put a little water in there too if you want, but I think you can just put oil and just to make my house smell nice, but not kill my cats. Cause I'm not trying to do that. Yeah, I think that's everything. I got myself one of these too. Cause you know, you wake up on a plane and you're like, and you need to be able to freshen up. These are great. So that is everything I got this week at the Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoy and you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later. Bye.